good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to 5-Minute Friday. My name is Steve Smith. I'm the minister here at the Beltline Church of Christ. And this is 5-Minute Friday. I'm so glad you joined us. This Sunday, we're going to be wrapping up our come and see portion of Jesus' discipleship, discipleship strategy as part of our series on the life of Jesus Christ. Jesus is going to perform a miracle. He's going to be rejected at his hometown of Nazareth. And he's going to move to a new city, a brand new city. And, and I want to talk a little bit about that city. The city where Jesus is going to move is a city named Capernaum. And Capernaum will become Jesus' home base. It's a city where he makes his dwelling. And at one point, it appears that Jesus either built or rented a house in this city. Mark chapter 2 verse 1 says this. It says, And when he returned to Capernaum after some days, it was reported that he was at home. Now, I don't think that means that he was just at home in the city of Capernaum. It means that he was in his house. We'll talk more about that in just a second. Matthew 4, 12 gives us a little bit more details about when Jesus made this move. It says, now, when he heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew into Galilee. And leaving Nazareth, he went and lived in the city of Capernaum by the sea. It's the city of Capernaum. It's his house in Capernaum, uh, the place where he's staying, that most likely is the one that has its roof ripped off in Mark chapter 2. Do you remember this? The crowds have come to hear Jesus preach at standing room only, and four friends bring their paralyzed friend on a mat, and they lower, they rip the roof off, and they lower him down in front of Jesus, and Jesus heals him spiritually, physically, in every possible way. It's his house, most likely, where that happens. Capernaum is the headquarters, basically, for Jesus in his mission to save the world. He's going to call his first five disciples here in Capernaum. Peter, Andrew, James, and John, and ultimately a tax collector named Matthew. And Jesus will do so many mighty works in this city. In fact, Jesus is going to perform more miracles and preach more sermons in and around Capernaum than in any other place during his entire ministry. Now, Capernaum is located in the far north along the northwestern shores of the Sea of Galilee. The river of Jordan flows in near uh, this portion, uh, this section named Capernaum. And the residents of this town were somewhat prosperous. They made their living from fishing, as we see with the apostles, agriculture, trade. And trade was a really big deal. And this is important for us. I want to say something about this. The reason trade was so big in Capernaum is because there was a main highway that you may have heard about before. The Bible refers to this highway in both the Old and the New Testament as the Way of the Sea. The Way of the Sea is found all the way up north in Damascus. And it goes through Galilee, Capernaum, and down into the Mediterranean coast to Egypt. And this is one of the reasons why Jesus, I think, picked this city. Because his fame is going to be able to spread so quickly down and around and through this highway, this way of the sea. Capernaum was extremely multicultural, full of Jews, full of Gentiles. In fact, I've been told it was possibly up to 50% Gentile. It was a garrison town, and what that means is it housed a detachment of Roman soldiers under the authority of a centurion, and government officials lived there as well. No doubt, Capernaum is an extremely important city during the life and times of Jesus Christ, but it doesn't end well for Capernaum. In Matthew chapter 11, verses 23 and 24, Jesus has some words about this city, this place where he lived. Here's what he says. He says, And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? No, you'll be brought down to Hades. For if the mighty works done in you had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable on the day of judgment for the land of Sodom than for you. What a sad commentary. This city where Jesus lived, where this city where Jesus did more miracles than anywhere else, where he preached more sermons than anywhere else, will ultimately reject Jesus. It will be a faithless city. And today, the city of Capernaum is nothing but ruins. Mysteriously, in the 7th century, the city was just abandoned. It's never been rebuilt. How very sad. The place where Jesus lives ultimately rejects him and becomes nothing but ruins. You know, I kind of think that's what happens when someone rejects Jesus. And while it may not look like it on the outside, when you reject Jesus, life just becomes a life of ruins. So don't do that. Don't be like Capernaum. Instead, be a faithful people, not a faithless people. 
I'm so glad you joined us this morning. So much more to say, but we'll leave it right there. And thank you for joining us on 5-Minute Friday. I hope to see you Sunday, whether in person or online. And until then, may God bless you as you strive to live for Him. Thank <laughs> you.